the palace hosts another state ritual, the investiture. Each year, over 2,000 people receive an honour. Most are nominated by the government, but it's the Queen or her family who present these awards, which recognise and reward achievement in all walks of life. Coordinated by the Central Chancery, the Queen's medal team is based at nearby St James's Palace, where Jeremy Bagwell Purifoy is the insignia clerk. In here is basically a year's worth of insignia, from terribly expensive stuff, which is used very rarely, to things like MBEs and OBEs, which we probably get through a couple of thousand a year. Um, here's a cupboard full of MBEs. Get the box open. So that's an MBE. Basically, when we start getting ready for investitures, I go through the programme, see what we need, and it all comes out, sits on that table. It goes upstairs bit by bit, gets cleaned, checked, comes back down here where it stays until we take it across to Buckingham Palace, which we do the afternoon beforehand. OBEs, which are identical to MBEs, except they're gold, or well, they look gold. And they all have these hooks so that when we come to the actual investiture, the Queen doesn't have to fiddle with the brooch fitting on the back. Each person, as they tip up at Buckingham Palace, will have a hook put onto the lapel of whatever they're wearing. So when the Queen comes on, all she has to do is drop that over the hook. Different grades of, of decoration get worn in different ways. Um, so a man's CBE is actually worn round the neck. For practical reasons, if a lady turned up at an investiture wearing a large hat, you couldn't put that over her head. Um, so a lady's CBE is on a bow and is worn as a brooch. Uh, just to complicate matters, if you happen to be a lady in uniform, a police lady, um, you get a man's one. The Order of the British Empire, it's a level of achievement. Um, at bottom is an MBE, then you go to an OBE, then you go to a CBE, and then you go to a KBE, which is a knighthood, which is like that. And, in fact, there is going to be one presented on Wednesday. Um, and the top level is a GBE, um, which is very, very rarely awarded. And this is the highest level of the Order of St Michael and St George, and that costs thousands. Handmade, hand-painted, enamelled, precious metal. And MBE and OBE is plated. Um, that's solid. This is all pre-computerisation. Every person that got an award um, had an index card. There you go, John Winston Lennon. It tells us what he was, which was an ordinary MBE. He got it on the 12th of June, 1965. He came to an investiture at Buckingham Palace on the 26th of October, 1965. And on the 26th of November, 1969, he returned it to us for various reasons. There are some 20 of these investiture ceremonies each year at Buckingham Palace. The Queen regards them as one of the monarchy's most important duties. One CB civil division, four ladies CB civil, one, two, three, four. Queen's Volunteer Reserves Medal. One. Star. 278. And 27. Um, this is the Queen's sword, which uh, she uses at the start of the investiture <coughs> to dub um, those that are becoming knights. It's the Queen's father's sword. So it's a, yeah, it's a significant sword. I, I normally do a set route on investiture mornings where I check all the rooms that are being used for the investiture. For example, the stall, the nighting stall, which is obviously very important at the start of the investiture, um, to s small things like the Lord Chamberlain using red pencils to tick the names off. And I normally give him about six, so he's got plenty of pencils not to go hunting for them. Well, I have back here two, again, which might seem very insignificant things, but phone there which has rung in the middle of an investiture so I normally make sure that's unplugged before we start and I have two lights here one's uh, a red one and a green one two buttons and the director of music up in the gallery has the equivalent lights um, which basically are if we think the band are playing too loud or playing too soft then the red light is to indicate to him that we need them to be a bit more quiet and the green light is to play a bit louder needless to say we never use the green light <laughs> Do you always walk this fast? I do, actually. Well, I do on investiture mornings, <laughs> purely because purely I'm a bit struck for time. <laughs> I'm the uh, page of the chambers, which I suppose you could class me as a senior butler. So I'm a, a bit like a cross between a stage manager and a sergeant major, I suppose. Morning. 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 We have the 
wheelchair machine. Um, so just give it a very, just a very small test. Well, I won't take it all the way to the top, but uh, I affectionately call this our white knuckle ride. Today's investiture will honour a hundred people. Each is allowed three guests. Among the recipients is farmer George Hughes. He's getting the MBE for his services to the sheep industry. I've been getting more and more nervous every day. And last night I, I wouldn't say a word. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. It's the unknown, isn't it? You've got to go up to receive it and uh, you hope you don't stumble or something. Those are the sort of things you think about. So if I need a hanky, I shall fall on you. Yes, so is that right? Absolutely. When I opened the letter six weeks before, it's quite an impressive letter. It comes from 10 Downing Street, of course, and then all the invitations come from St James's Palace. So the postman gets very impressed. <laughs> Stephen Marshall, the yeoman of the glass cellars, has spent 30 years working at the palace, so he knows the form. Today he's here as the Queen's guest to be appointed a member of the Royal Victorian Order. I'm getting nervous now, yeah. Well, it's different being on the other side, coming through the doors, you know, and seeing the people you know talking to you, telling you where to go, basically. I don't like getting a Christmas present, you know, where you've got that little bit of a walk, let alone the long one I've got to do now, so... You think he'd have his own photographs, wouldn't you? We've already signed, so yeah, go away. <laughs> for, 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 did you? The investiture actually starts at 11 o'clock this morning, conducted by the Queen, as you know. Now, what I'm going to do is just walk myself through the system that you're going to have to go through. Directly in front of you is Rear Admiral Colin Cook Priest, gentleman usher to the Queen, um, who's your last seat port of call. I'm not sure I'm doing that. No, that's right. But when you go up al alongside Colin, please could you stop? Um, and at that point, what, what are you waiting for? You're waiting for your surname to be called. Dame Margaret Pendling. The conversation, your next come to an end, handshake. Please take it um, and then reverse back. Please remember to reverse back the two or three paces it takes to get to the start point of that. Mr. Stephen Gerrard. I've never experienced nerves like this yet. A bit different. Excited, though. <laughs> no, first time. Looking forward to it. The nearer it comes, the more emotional it gets. Just going for your head. Oh, so nervous. <laughs> Quite normal, everyone else is, don't worry. <laughs> the Royal Victorian Order, which Stephen Marshall is receiving, is in the Queen's personal gift. Most other orders are nominated by the state. It's really good to see you today. How, you? How long have you been around? 30 years. <gasps> I think this should almost be a second long service award. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. George Hughes, for services to the sheep industry in Wales. Good morning, Your Majesty. Very glad indeed to give you this. That's very kind of you. And, and uh, you're work, you have your own business, do you? Think? Yes, a small farm now, mm -hmm. semi retired. Still keep the sheep, though. You keep your sheep, do you? Yes. I've got South Downs. Have you? Yes. Which were... There's a flock at uh, Sandingham until the war. Yes, indeed. Mm, that's right. No animals now, sadly. No, But, no. but it's, it's going well, is it? I'm doing all right? It's... Uh, farming's not it's, easy. It's not, not terribly easy, no, but we're struggling and uh, getting away with it. I'm very glad to give you that. to go away, the cushion. Let's go together. Oh, what a wonderful lady the Queen is. 
Why'd you say that? No one else could reduce me to what I feel at the moment.